Hi everyone, this is Cyrus for iPhoneS.com and iPhoneAppsFinder.com. Today I'm showing you ReadQuick. It's a speed reading application for iOS. We've been covering speed reading applications in the past. Fast Reader, Quick Read, ReadQuick, Accelerate, Ace Reader. So there's so many of them that we've covered all of them, most of them I should say, on AppFinder's YouTube channel. ReadQuick has now been upgraded to version 2. Looks much more elegant, easier to use, I should say, and faster. Also, it doesn't crash a lot. I use it on my iPad Air a lot and it hasn't been crashing. The previous version, if you go and see the video that we did, I complained about a couple of crashes that we had and I didn't think at the time it was a deal breaker anyway, but now it's nice to see that these guys have worked on it and made it more stable. Now, you still can add your Instapaper pocket articles. You can add articles from browser. You can change settings here are connections that you have. It's a paper pocket readability. You can see your stats. So I have a couple of stats as far as the articles. Now let's just go and add a new one just to show you how simple it is. So so let's go to that site. And let's say I want to learn about it. Do it yourself. 3D printed Google Glass. So I add it to my articles and I can keep adding these articles and go from there. So I close the browser. Now these are the articles available and how long it's going to take depending on the speed it could take be seconds or minutes. Let's go here. So my speed thousand words per minute. That's not something I'm let's just go with something that's simple and easy to keep up. Right. I, I think 300 words is reasonable. You double tap to start. See, there are no distractions. You train your eyes to read faster. Obviously, there are other exercises you can do. Let's just go to finish and then see what happens there. Obviously, it doesn't show the videos. If your articles have videos, it's going to be harder to actually speed read them. But let's say you're reading something on the Wall Street Journal or New York Times and doesn't have videos or other information you need to keep up with. This is very simple. You, you have it now, it's the 12 seconds that it took. I mean, if you could read that in 12 seconds, uh, imagine how many articles you can read. And it's it wasn't a long article, at the same time it wasn't a short one either. So 12 seconds, that's something that, you, you know, if you can read it and do it all the time, important. And now you can see your average speed, depending on what you're comfortable with, the sources. So it keeps track of your sources, the sites that I've actually used. So that's pretty neat. As far as the settings, you have your favorites, instant paper, pocket, you can connect them. And I can also use these sites, let's say to go Giga OM and tells me how long it's going to take. So it's going to take 46 seconds or something like that. If I go with data speed. So there you have it. Very simple. I like the new design. It doesn't crash as often as the other one, which is the previous version, which is nice. There are other bug fixes that they're talking about. I don't know which one they haven't specified that, but I personally never really had that many problems with it quick. So I appreciate the fact that developers have worked hard to actually improve it. And again, if you like to read faster, if you want to learn about it, an application like this can definitely train you and it's not the cheapest one. At the same time, it's a pretty polished user interface and it just does the job. So it's read quick by the guys at Action Now, and this is version two. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please go and check other videos that we've done on speed reading applications, such as Read Quick, Quick Reader, Accelerate, Ace Reader, and other applications like that. Thanks again for watching, guys.